Hey, what's going on, fish fans? Captain Rex Whitcamp here from Third Alarm Fishing. Just wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what I've been using for Mahi Mahi, the technique for Mahi Mahi. What kind of leader, what kind of hooks, uh, how I like to organize my gear. Uh, it's all about being prepared. I've always said that, so do a lot of your rigging beforehand and you'll uh, have some success when you get out there and the fish are starting to uh, taunt you. <laughs> And that's what we want, right? So to get started, I'm gonna pan down and I'm gonna show you what I talked about in another video. It's called the Cuban Reel, right? It's just one of these uh, circular plastic pieces where you can store pre-made leaders. Uh, I have them labeled, I have several of them. Uh, this is a mutton snapper rig. I have, it's 30 feet. You wanna put how many feet, what pound leader, and what size hook. So you can just gri grab and go for early, uh, quick, you know, quick grab and go when you're, uh, when you're ready. So this one is the Mahi rig, and this video is about Mahi, so I wanted to let you know that that's what we're going to look on right now. So, for this example, I'm just using uh, 60 pound on this spool. It's uh, a 10 foot piece of 60 pound fluoro and a 7 knot hook. You want to use those Mustad long shank J hooks, like this, with a closed eye, alright, to really get those Mahi hooked. So I'm gonna just do a little speed technique to show you here. On the leaders, I know that my wingspan like this, when I pull it out on the leader, that's five feet. So I know if I pull that out once and then pull it out again, that's a 10 foot section of leader. Go ahead and take my pliers out. Go ahead and trim a piece off to work with. All right. So you got your 10 foot section of uh, fluoro. You wanna go ahead and on, obviously there's different styles of knots and you know, in different applications. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna use the improvised clinch knot, which is probably the first knot any fisherman learned to tie. You just go through the eye of the hook, go around one, two, three, four, four or five times, depending on the, uh, the diameter of your leader of your line uh, less times for heavier leader more times for smaller gauge leader and also main or braid so once you come through that bottom loop then you come back through that hoop that you just made obviously you tighten it up but not all the way get yourself a good grip on it try and get back in the camera view and then tighten that down all right, and I'm just putting my thumb through the hook so you don't pinch yourself and then you're just pulling tension. Sometimes I like to take this other finger and pull down on the knot just to let it slide. You wanna moisten the knot too and uh, so that it doesn't burn and chafe your line. All right, trim that tag in, ready to go. Now on your spool, you've already made up several liters and in the end of well, I should say when you start your when you start making one of these, go ahead and tie on your hook first. Grab the side of the Cuban reel and then tape it down with your first hook, and then wrap up your leader around the spool until you get to the end of your leader. At the end of your leader, guys, this is what you got to do: tie yourself just a little knot, all right, a little loop. And this is just a simple figure eight. This doesn't have to be anything, and this is just to hold the next hook. See that? You just grab that. So it doesn't need to be anything fancy because when you go to take this leader, this next leader off, you take it off and you're gonna have that knot at the end of your leader. You're just gonna trim that off and then you're gonna use that end to tie to your main. So you're just gonna use that little loop just to grab the next hook and put it in line. And then you just wind it up, wind it up on your spool. I know that about seven turns on this size reel is about a 10 foot section, a 10 foot section. And I know that about 22 turns around the reel is about a 30 foot section. So depending on how you wanna do it guys, you can either measure it out using the arm, using your arm length for distance. Everybody's wingspan is different, but if you wrap it around that reel so many times, you're gonna come up with a little equation is to figure out how long of a leader that is. And that's it guys, you just set up a whole spool full <clears throat> Of, uh, of the right size hook and in the right size and then you just go ahead and label your reel, your spool. 10 foot section, 60 pound fluoro, 7 knot hook and it's for mahi. 
So quick and go, you're, you know your gear, but you're fishing with other people on your boat that don't know, hey, go get me that seven, that seven ounce spool that says mahi on it, or it says mutton snapper on it, whatever you're fishing for. All right, so good luck, guys. Hopefully this information was helpful. Uh, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. I appreciate you guys. Third Alarm Fishing, Captain Rex here. One more bit of information. When you're fishing, sometimes when you're mahi fishing, you're not gonna you're gonna reuse that leader, but you're not gonna be able to de-hook that mahi. Go ahead and set you up one little bin just for all of your mahi hooks. Alright? So sometimes you just need to trim that fish off the leader. He's in the fish box, he's good to go, he's legal, you kept him, and you're under your quota for the day. You go ahead and cut the leader. Instead of undoing that whole leader, just grab another hook. Grab another hook. Tie it on, throw it right back out with another chunk ballyhoo or whatever you're using for bait that day. What they're biting live is usually best, but um, they buy the chunk too and the dead bait also. So I uh, hope you find this information, uh, you know, helpful. So Captain Rex, I'm out. Have a great day, guys. See you soon.